What is up, Dream Team? So today, I will be performing surgery on your mom. Just kidding. That's tomorrow. But today, I will be uh, dispensing some shrimp that we try to hatch. Um, it seems like we got a good bit. I didn't put very many eggs in there. But um, we got another incubator. We'll set that up. So... Anyways, let's go ahead and dispense some shrimp. So we open the valve here. And like always, righty tighty, lefty loosey, like uh, loosey. So, let them out. And I think I'm just gonna let all of the water flush through. And then that way I can uh, make some more. We do have quite a bit of babies. And then, since they do have salt, we're going to have to wash them with clean water. We used water from the faucet to hatch the, the brine shrimp. But to clean the eggs, you'll have to use actual purified good clean water. Some good quality H2O. And then, I'll be showing you guys how we feed the babies, the bit that we have separated, and uh, go from there. Once you've flushed out the incubator, and I know what you're thinking. Incubator, I just met her. But anyways, I gotta go flush this guy, so we'll go flush him real quick. Bam! Super fast. Alright, um, so now we're gonna go ahead and take our shrimp. And uh, after we wash them for about, I'd say, two minutes. with uh, fresh water. See if you can zoom in a bit.
And we do still have a couple of them that have the egg. The egg, yeah, it's still in the shell. And I've heard that they don't move very much for about two days. And that they didn't <clears throat> really start eating after two days, so. Some of them did. Oh. Like they look now. Yeah. Oh yeah, it kind of looks like they're nipping at him, huh? Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like they're just lounging forward. That's them going for it. Good job, fellas. I wish you nothing but success, guys. To 20, 23, starting. Nothing but success. I wish that all you guys go to happy, good homes, mansions. A tank for your tank. And then a real tank, just in case you gotta go to war against you, you know? Now you got quite a bit of movement too mm -hmm. for them supposedly not moving a lot. And I do feel actually like, I mean, it's hard to say, but I do think that just that quarter of a teaspoon that we did, I think seems like it's like just a perfect amount. You obviously can't see the brine shape, but you could just kind of tell, you know, I mean, you could kind of see them. So it seems like it's not too much. It seems like it's just maybe the perfect amount. So you're going to make one with that much and then are you going to wait a day or two and then we'll make the other one or what? Well, I mean, I think we should make one now. Right now. And I'll go ahead and have my lovely assistant do that one. And we did see one that had the twins, but it's kind of hard to see where they could be right now. If they already hatched. Huh? What if they already hatched? Yeah, yeah, that's true. What if they already hatched? Did you see that big blob right there in the middle? My stomach? <laughs> that one right there? That Nobody was all pure stuff. Oh, oh, wow, okay. Thank you, lovely assistant. That's weird, huh? Yeah. And it's kind of good that all that gunk is kind of there, the shell, because it seems like it also, it also, like, all the dirt and stuff kind of sticks to that. Mm -hmm. So all the, all the excess that will be left over from the rhyme ship, I think, will be kind of pulled up by that. But we should remove that here pretty soon, too, after the boys have their feast. And ladies. Are you going to pop them out of their egg? Not yet. I mean, I think we should still try to transfer some of this. We still haven't gone through the other tank, so... I think we'll do that today because tomorrow we'll be going on an adventure.
Well, I think that's it. And then um, we're just gonna put the ink, another incubator together. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Stop it, you guys. <laughs>